Hi guys, one of the trickiest tasks in AutoCAD is preparing your layouts in the correct plot scale. In this video I will explain how the zoom scale factors work in paper space and how to prepare your drawings to any scale you want. To make it even easier I have also prepared this useful zoom scale factors table you can use and have your drawings ready for printing in no time. And remember, subscribe and turn on notifications. So guys, before we start, I want to give you some basic background information on uh, AutoCAD. There are two working spaces in AutoCAD. First is the model space and the second one is the layout or paper space. The model space is where we prepare all of our project drawings all together, whereas the paper space is where we put together those drawings into sheets, organize them and have them ready for printing and what we want to do today is put these drawings from model space into the paper space so when they print out they are at the correct scale. Designers often use different methods in preparing drawings in model space. Some uh, use meters, some others use millimeters and there are those who use centimeters. For instance, this drawing was prepared in millimeters meaning each drawing unit in AutoCAD represents one millimeter. For instance, if we zoom in and measure the distance between these two axes, from this axis to this one, the distance is 6,000 drawing units, which corresponds to 6,000 millimeters. Whereas this drawing was prepared in meters. The distance from one axis to the other is 4.25. It was drawn in meters. Again, meaning each drawing unit represents one meter. And I'm overstressing this because it's one of the factors we will have to use when we scale our drawings into paper space. So to start, I will use this uh, drawing, which again was prepared in meters, to create our first drawing sheet in paper space. First thing, we want to set up our page into, I will select the printer, PDF printer, and uh, use an A2 size uh, paper. Import my sheet template which I have already prepared. And what we want to do is create two separate viewports, one to show our plan view and the other one to show our cross section, both in one to 100 scale. So let's create our first viewport. As soon as we create the viewport, it will show the whole drawing in total. There it is. And I will create the second viewport as well at the bottom to show our cross section. Currently we are in paper space mode and we have two, we have created two viewports. Double click in the viewport at the top, it will highlight it meaning that we are inside the viewport, actually we are in model space and what we, what we want to do is zoom in at the correct scale to show our plan view in 1 to 100 scale. And to do this, type zoom, S for scale, and then we have to select a scale factor, followed by the letters XP. In this case, I will use 10XP. Hit enter, and our plan view is now in 1 to 100 scale. Double click outside the viewport to go back into paper space. How did I get this number, the 10 XP? To make things easy, we have prepared this zoom XP factors scale table for you to use at any time. And I have provided a link to download this table in the description. And this table has three columns, one for each method of preparing 
the model space drawing, one in meters, centimeters, and millimeters. So first thing we need to have a look at is which uh, units our model space drawing was prepared in. In this case, in our case, it was prepared in meters. So we are looking at this third column here. Next, we identify the scale we want to have our drawing zoomed in. And in this case, we wanted a 1 to 100 scale. So I used a factor 10 XP. And let's do the same procedure for our cross section in the viewport at the bottom. Double click inside the viewport, zoom, scale, S for scale, and use a scale factor of 10 XP. Again, this will zoom in the drawing into 1 to 100 scale. Hit enter and holding the middle mouse down, I uh, will pan into the correct view I want to have my drawing set. Double click outside the viewport. We are again in paper space and this is our 1 to 100 scales of a plan view and cross section. So let's do another example. I will make a copy of this uh, layout. Move to end, create a copy. OK. Delete one of my two viewports. Make this viewport bigger. And what we want to do now is uh, show this uh, cross section at a different scale. So going back to our table, this time I want to show my drawing at a scale of 1 to 50. And uh, don't worry, in a minute I will explain how all these numbers came to be, how I calculated all those numbers. So you can use the same formula in case you want to use a different scale or you have a different situation. So our next uh, drawing sheet will be in a scale 1 to 50. It was uh, drawn using meters, so we will use a scale factor of 20 XP. Back to our drawing, double click inside the viewport, zoom, scale, 20 XP. And now our cross section is shown at 1 to 50 scale. We might be able to use a bigger scale, so going back to our table, I will try and use a bigger scale, 1 to 25, and this time we're going to use 40 XP. Double click, zoom, scale, 40 XP, and hopefully it will fit into our uh, viewport. It fits perfectly, so now our drawing is at 1 to 25 scale. So let's have a look at the formula used to calculate the scale factors in case you want to calculate your own factors. Starting from the beginning, our drawing was drawn in meters, meaning that one drawing unit in model space represented one meter, or transforming this into millimeters, 1000 millimeters. Let's save this number, name it X, and this is our reference, 1000 millimeters. Our drawing was prepared, one drawing unit represented 1000 millimeters. The scale we want to use, for instance, is 1 to 100. That is 1 over 100. To calculate the zoom scale factor, we take our X reference number, 1000 millimeters, multiply it by our scale factor, 1 over 100, and the result is 10 XP. Another example, again, our model was drawn in meters, so we have the same X reference number, 1000 millimeters. But this time we wanted to bring our drawing to a scale of 1 to 50. That is 1 over 50. The formula is our reference 1000 times 1 over 50 equals 20 XP. And this is how all these scale factors came to be using the same formula in the case where our drawing was in meters our x reference was 1000 and when our drawing is in millimeters that x number the one drawing unit is equal to one millimeter so if our drawing was in millimeters that number x the reference x 
was uh, going to be 1 and if we wanted to bring our drawing to 1 to 100 scale the scale factor will be 1 over 100 0 0.01 XP let's do one more example this time with a drawing prepared in millimeters like the one shown here create a viewport set up our viewport this time I will set it up to an A3 size paper A3 create our first viewport and the whole drawing is shown inside the viewport what I want to do is bring this small detail to a scale of 1 to 10 to do this let's refer back to our table our drawing is in millimeters and I want a scale of 1 to 10 so I'm going to use a scale factor of 0.1 XP double click inside the viewport zoom scale and this time I will write 0 0.1 XP before I hit enter I want to show you something else hit escape if I zoom somewhere and bring my details somewhere in the middle when I hit enter and do the scaling it will center that uh, detail into the middle of my screen so I don't have to pan around and find it so again zoom scale 0 0.1 XP hit enter and there it is our detail in a 1 to 10 scale double click outside our viewport seems a little big so we can make it smaller notice that the scaling inside doesn't change and we can also move the viewport somewhere elsewhere into the drawing sheet and this is it our uh, detail is now presented when it's printed onto the plotter it will be in a 1 to 10 scale so i hope you found this video useful until next time make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications thank you for watching